Hi everybody, it is me, the Fabulous Leo Brown, and I'm on here to kind of give my commentary or my perspective on some breaking entertainment news. Um, how do I say this? So, if you all haven't heard, I'm pretty sure you have, but if you haven't heard, singer Taylor Braxton, she has filed for divorce from her husband, Vincent Herbert. And now I will admit, I'm not a fan. I'm a fan of her music. I'm a fan of her voice. She has a beautiful voice. She can sing her, her face off. She really can. Am I a fan of her antics? No. But, you know, it is what it is. I think, I think Tamar is the kind of woman that you would love to hang around, but then if you hang around her too long, it can become a bit much. Um, but that's no shade because, I, I mean, hell, people can say the same thing about me. So, but anywho, I wanted to offer my perspective as a psychic on why because the, the big question that a lot of people are having you know about it is okay we understand you giving up seeing or you you know cutting back because if you <clears throat> if you follow her she said maybe about three weeks ago or about a month ago she said that she was n not retiring from singing but that she was you know cutting back and she was going to go really more behind the scenes because she now has her own label which is Logan Land Records along with she's I think she's on tour right now with Escape but <clears throat> she said that she wasn't retiring because people a lot of people thought that she was leaving music because she said that her album Bluebird Happiness which I'll just say this I've listened to the album it's good but it's not great to me if I had a top Five of her albums. For me, it would be her first one. Her number one would be the first, which is her self-titled release that came out in 99. Then number two would be Calling All Lovers. Then number three would be Love and War. Uh, and then this album, which is Bluebird of Happiness, would be number four for me. And then her uh, Winter, Winter Lover's Land, which was her holiday album, that's number five. Because <clears throat> she isn't a bad singer. She can sing her butt off. But I think in terms of production, maybe, and maybe in terms of material, they don't really uh, showcase her ability. They showcase that she can do a lot of riffs and she can do a lot of run, but they don't really showcase versatility. I think Calling All Lovers was her best work. Um, her, her first one, her self titled debut, and Calling All Lovers to me are like her best work. But anyway, so I wanted to offer my perspective because people are like, well, we get that she's, you know, less than singing, she's not singing as much. But now a lot of people are asking, like, well, why are you divorcing him? Because she said in previous interviews, if you watch previous interviews, she said that, like, okay, I'm the reason I'm, I'm listening to my singing is because I want to concentrate on my marriage. I want to make sure that my marriage is intact. And those are all good reasons to, you know, kind of step back for a while, regardless of career. I personally wish her the best. I And that's my dog back there, if you hear it. Anyway, we're my roommate's dog. But anywho, so, um, but I wish her the best. I hope that she is happy. I hope that she does what she feels she needs to do. And, and you know, unfortunately, separations, divorces, they happen. You know, I mean, and that's true with anything. That's that's true in anything that we do. And, and you necessarily don't have to be married to divorce from something. You can divorce from a job. You can divorce from, um, hell, some people have divorced from social media. You can divorce... From a habit, I mean, anything can can really constitute a divorce. But I wanted to give my perspective on as to why. So psychically, I'm going to do a reading on Tamar and share with you guys what I see for her. Now, now, let me just say this. Uh, you know, I never call myself 100% anything but human. I would never say I'm 100% accurate. But, in, but I just really wanted to offer something different. And... You know, you never know. She may see this and be like, oh, my God, you know, you know, who knows? I don't know. But uh, or you may see it and relate to it. So we'll see. So stay tuned and I'm going to give my commentary. I'll be back. I'd rather go blind, blind, blind than to see you with her tonight. I'm done with your lies. Can't say goodbye, so I'd rather go blind. Okay, so here we go. Um, 
So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to focus on the past. So I just threw some cards regarding Tamar and her current situation, and here's what I get. So in the past, I get the Seven of Cups reversed. So what this basically means is that emotionally, uh, in the past, we're going to focus, maybe, I want to say, for what I'm picking up, I get four years ago. Um, she really tried her best to give it her all. She really tried to make it work. Um, but at the same time, I also get that she didn't give enough. She gave, she gave just what she had. Um, I feel like a lot of this has to do with, and, and this may sound funny, but I feel like a lot of this has to do with her having her child, with her giving birth to Logan. She was maybe emotionally attached or no, I'm sorry, not attached, detached because she was so attached to her child and that was it. That when it came to her husband and their uh, relationship outside of business, it they grew apart emotionally. They kind of splintered off. And, you know, it kind of looks like to me, she really is at a point where she's like, you know what? I've given all I can give. I've taken all I can take. And even on his end, I kind of get this from him too. Like, like, there, there is a love here, but at the same time, there's kind of like a, and they've even admitted this, there's like a love-hate kind of thing with them. They love each other, but at the same time, there are things about them that they, they just can't stand. Um, one of the issues that I'm picking up that, that is a big problem for them right now is money. Um, because, you know, they, they are having some financial issues, so they have had some financial problems. And I'm kind of getting that there's a lot more to the story than what we, the public, are receiving. Um, I'm getting a lot to do with contractual disputes and uh, things of that nature, paperwork, documentation. Um, I kind of get that this divorce is more about not just I love, I, I'm not out of love with my husband, but I'm not as in love as I used to be. But also, this is more so about both of them protecting themselves financially, too their empires, what they built, their brands. Um, even though I feel like things are very intertwined. Do I see it being kind of messy? Yes and no. Yes, because I see that as time goes on, I think they're going to try to keep the secret. Hence this card, the High Priestess. I see them both kind of trying to keep a secret, trying to keep it together and not let the public in too much. But I'm also picking up just... Um, clairvoyantly, or I shouldn't say clairvoyantly, clair, uh, auto, uh, I can't talk. What I'm hearing clairaudiently, there we go. What I'm hearing clairaudiently is I'm hearing accusations. I'm hearing that maybe three to four months into the process, we're going to start, we the public are going to start, the tea is going to be spilled basically about both of them and why this even took place. Um... I think in a way, even though, yes, it's sad that she's going through this and she's going to recover fine. She's actually going to be, I think, better. Um, and I actually see them still working together or if they don't work together, they'll still be friends. So I don't see it being a, a, a once the dust settles, things will be fine. But in but in the interim of it, we're going to we the public are going to find out a lot about it that uh, they tried to hide a lot. A lot of things that they tried to conceal. Um. I kind of get her being selfish a little bit and kind of going within her shell, retreating from the public, not uh, interacting as much. Hence her saying, I don't, you know, I'm not retiring, but I'm just stepping down from music for a minute. She, I do see her doing that. I actually see her getting into writing. Because uh, the one thing I'm saying that she did not do while with Vince that I think she wanted to do, because I kind of get with her career, and this has to do with career too, the Seven of Pentacles. With her career, um, that there were things that she wanted to do that she was told not to do. She was not controlled. Well, let me be real. She was controlled in a sense because I kind of get that within her career, she wanted to write. She wanted to arrange. She wanted to do things. She wanted to stretch. Uh, I get everything from rapping to um, like acting like every, they, like there's so much that she wants to do and what I kind of get that there has been a problem with both of them is that with her and Vince both is that Vince will be trying to rein her in and going 
okay, you can't do this. And if you ever watched him on events, you know this is true. Um, Vince will try to rein her in and say, no, 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 or be patient or whatever. And she'd be so gung-ho. And in turn, it would create, they would clash. They would just get into it. So I think this time around, this is actually a good thing because even though, yes, it's painful, it actually is a good thing because it will kind of allow her to, to, to regroup and decompress and have the necessary rest that she needs. Because she does. She needs a moment to herself. Um, I also get that right now, her main goal is balance. That's where she's at now. Her main goal is to be balanced, to be patient with herself. Because she's realizing, like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, it's all been too much, and I can't afford this anymore. I think that's why, even financially, they're kind of hurting. Like, there's a lot more. I keep getting there's a lot more when it comes to money that we don't see. There's a lot more. It's because I know that at one point there were reports about Vince owing like three point seven million to Sony, and then taxes and sell their house. There's a lot more um, than than what we know, than what we're privy to as the public. But I honestly feel like a lot of that's gonna come out too. I would say at least within the next two to four months. So we're gonna hear a lot about, you know, not why the relationship ended, but maybe like it'll kind of pieces are gonna to start to, to 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 make themselves known. Um but her goal right now is to be balanced. And I would say Tamar, if you ever see this, excuse me, and I doubt you do, but if you ever see it, my main thing for you that I'm picking up for you to, that you need to do, be patient with yourself. And don't how can I put it? Don't blame yourself. Don't blame yeah, don't blame yourself. Well Take responsibility for your actions, but don't blame yourself entirely for the demise of your marriage because it's, it's not, you know what I mean? It, it's not a, it's not completely your fault. Um, and then the, the final card that I drew is the Tower card. Now, if anybody knows anything about this card, this card is not the one to play with. This was actually my card for this year. Um, so this card speaks of loss. It speaks of transformation. It speaks of change, but it speaks of sudden transformation. And if you really think about it, she kind of is going through that. She, um, it, it, it's funny because I got this card along with the High Priestess. Put them both together. So I got this card along with the High Priestess card. So what it's telling me, there we go, I'm trying to get it in focus. So what it's telling me is that, granted, yes, things around her that are familiar are coming down. Patterns are being broken. But at the same time, it actually is good for her because it's going to help her reveal if she, if you choose to go into herself, if she chooses to do the necessary work, it will help her be a better woman. Because I kind of get like within the next two years, we're going to see a whole different Tamar Braxton. Like she's going to be, she'll still be the sassy Tamar that we all know and sometimes love and sometimes hate. But I kind of get her being more mature and more about her business and more herself. I'm not saying that she was acting, but I think, I kind of get with her that what we see and who she is are completely different things. So that's my perspective on that. I think that, you know, there's definitely going to be some difficulties financially for her. Not like I feel being broke, but I definitely see like getting things in order, organizing things, um, what her next plan is going to be, course of action regarding her career. That's coming into question now. That's what's bothering her. And, you know, emotionally she's spent. She's just like, I'm over it. And it's not that she doesn't love him, because contrary to popular belief, she does love Vince. But I think the one thing that, from what I'm picking up, that I'm seeing that it caused their marriage to really drift apart was a lack of emotional communication along with verbal. So it was both. Um, but those are my perspectives on it. What do you think about this? Leave your thoughts below. How do you feel about her being married uh, or her marriage now separating? How do you feel about it? Let me know in the comments below and forgive my background noise, but I live with other people. But let me know uh, in your comments and I will talk to you soon. I love you all. Bye-bye.